There's nothing like spending the day at the lake during the Labor Day holiday. And for some like Joe Mann, it brings back some fond memories. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me on float trips down to the Ozarks. We'd go fishing, uh, camping, things like that. And that's where he first discovered his love of being on the water. Mann competes in the MR340, a paddling competition that begins in Kansas City and finishes some 340 miles away in St. Charles, Missouri, right outside of St. Louis. So what are the rules to the big race? Well, if you think about it, it's pretty simple. It kind of reminds you of a famous Hollywood movie. It is exactly like Cannonball Run. There, there are no mandatory stops. There are no mandatory breaks. There are official checkpoints, um, but you are not required to stop at those checkpoints. You just have to make sure that uh, you, you, are somehow, you somehow notify the uh, race officials that you have passed that checkpoint. For the past three years, man has fared well during the race. But this year, he and his rowing partner, Dylan McCarty of Stafford, Missouri, were finally able to break through and capture first place. It's the first time in the 12 year history of the competition. It was won by native Missourians. I've, every year I've improved. Um, I've gotten second overall three times. So it was just right, uh, you know, uh, missing the last one or whatever. But um, so after, after three times being second overall, this year we finally did it. And, and to be honest, there was no magic ingredient. There wasn't any, um, you know, special strategy. But will man return next year to defend his title? He's already working on his plans for after officially leaving the competition, but he still won't be very far from the water. I, I have a little dream in the back of my head someday to, uh, with my wife to run a, a bed and breakfast and canoe kayak rental shop and, uh, and maybe, uh, maybe help folks get into the sport. So yeah, there's a, there's a little dream in the back of the head there. D. Jackson, 41 Action News.